Webster. Alone is in the black singlet, purple trim, coached by Drew Periano. Brewer, there's an early shot by Malone. Elevates the leg, Brewer, and the maroon with white and black trim. Boy, fighting it hard. No points yet awarded. And they're going to watch that right knee there as Brewer trying to get around on the other side. Gets locked in on Malone's right leg. So an early flurry here along. And a double leg takedown for Malone. He's kind of a dark horse. Only lost was to Earl Hall, the sixth seed this year, and he redeemed that at the Big 12 Championships. Meanwhile, Malone, 21 and 17 on the year. Brewer out of Missouri, Oak Park High School in Kansas City. Is a four-time Missouri State champion. Comes out the back door after the escape. They're watching the left knee and they'll get a potentially dangerous. Just over a minute into this one. His rank, uh, Brewer was ranked number six nationally as a 130-pound recruit by Intermac. Finished third at the 2010 Junior Freestyle Nationals. Ranked as number high as number two by the OpenMat.com. Number 71 overall recruit by College Wrestling Diamond. He's a redshirt junior. 5'7 is his height. Goes off the head control. Gets the takedown. So Brewer, after giving up the early takedown, takes a 3 2 lead. Michigan's Rosario Bruno is an automatic qualifier at 133 pounds at the NCAA Nationals. And he's got Malone in criteria. And they'll award the three, six to two, in favor of Cody Brewer. to two, 20 seconds left to go, opening frame. Malone. There's a stalling warning on Malone. He's a 5'5 junior out of Granby, Connecticut, at the Wyoming Seminary, one of the top high school wrestling programs in the country. Kind of ironic, he comes from Granby, as we all know the Granby role. Choice goes to Brewer. He'll choose down to start the second period. And he's accumulated a minute eight seconds of riding time, up by six. High school, he was a two-time front champion at 119 pounds and 126 pounds. So his feet is Brewer. Works hands. We'll see if he'll get the, and they'll give him the reversal as he got out, had an escape, but then went right to work on getting control Goes up 10 to 2, so the Sooner with an 8 point lead. Now in a cradle, and there's the fall for Cody Brewer. So after giving up the first takedown of the match, he comes storming back, and with a minute 32 left to go in the second period, he pins Dominic Malone. 